Right now, we're going back to my choice in November of 2022 to buy Bitcoin. Is it too late to buy Bitcoin? Bitcoin is not going to make you rich. If it's not going to zero, it's going to a million. Don't buy Bitcoin if you're trying to get rich. I took that $16,500 to now today worth over $50,000 in just over a year. In November of 2022, when the crypto world was shaken up by the FTX crash, I decided to put money into Bitcoin and I let you all know about it. I decided to buy my first Bitcoin. I have it here, right there on my phone. I own 1.0186 Bitcoin. Even though a lot of people were doubtful, I was confident because of what happens around the Bitcoin halving events. Here's the deal. Bitcoin halving cuts the rewards for mining new Bitcoins in half every four years, making Bitcoin harder to get. Now, I want to look at the numbers with you guys so you really see why I say this. After the first halving in 2012, Bitcoin's price shot up from about $11 to over $1,100 in value. In 2016, we saw it jump from about $650 to around $2,500. And I'm sure all of you remember 2020. It went from about $8,800 to over $64,000. Listen, these aren't just numbers. They show how Bitcoin's value grow when it becomes rarer. Even with skeptics like this guy calling my investment gambling and saying Bitcoin would crash to zero, I stuck to my gut. Reflecting on the halving, which we can see a clear pattern. First, less Bitcoin means it becomes more valuable since it's rarer. Second, being patient really pays off, as shown by a significant price increases after each halving. And last, smart planning was evident when the modest pre-halving price rises validated my November of 2022 investment, expecting more growth ahead. So, as we get closer to the 2024 halving, and with the Bitcoin ETF now a thing, we're looking at the possibility of another massive period and a boom of growth for Bitcoin. Now let me tell you, this ETF is a game changer, making it easier and safer for regular investors to get into Bitcoin and making it easier for people that don't understand Bitcoin and brokers and ledgers to get into Bitcoin. Bitcoin ETF. Applications for Bitcoin ETFs and- I bought all the Bitcoin ETFs. Here's why the ETF stands out to me. It makes investing in Bitcoin as easy as buying stocks, which simplifies entry for many, some of you maybe. It also offers protection against the volatility of the market, meaning you can hedge into some Bitcoin and maybe get out of stocks. Also, it presents Bitcoin as a viable option for adding a variety to your portfolio, aiming for growth in even more shaky markets. Last but not least, the approval of the ETF signals a significant step towards cryptocurrency acceptance within the traditional financial system, likely drawing in even more investors and especially important, the major investors, the big investors, what I call the super investors, which are 100 million and over. Deciding to buy Bitcoin during the 2022 low, which I shared on this channel, was a smart move based on the Bitcoin having history and the new ETF. With the next having coming up, these lessons are not just for me. They're a guide for anyone that is currently watching this to think about it and think, wow, April of 2024, we have an opportunity. Also, don't forget where I bought on the rainbow chart and where we are today. According to this chart, we have plenty of room to grow if you believe in something like that rainbow chart. So who's ready to jump in on the next Bitcoin rise? Hit that like button if you're going to be and leave your thoughts in the comments as we put you on a path. We're turning doubt into a plan, showing that knowing your stuff in finance can lead to big wins. It's not about catching the wave. It's about understanding where it comes from and where it can take us. See you next time.